What is up and welcome back to the Plymouth Argyle career. Now I was having a look at the squad and a couple people may have mentioned that the depth on this team doesn't look great. As a matter of fact, it looks absolutely shambolic. We just don't have very many good players down here. And if we pick up any injuries at all, I mean, we already lost Livermento for three months, so we're going to have to sign another right back. But if we pick up any more injuries, pretty much in any position, we're just screwed. So we're going to have to hit the free agency and pick up some more depth players for this team. And we need some actual quality depth players. I'm looking for players like right around 70 rated to fit into this squad that can actually be useful. So here is the list of players that I found that fits what we're looking for. And we're not going to sign everyone here. A lot of these players, specifically all of the wingers, are kind of a contingency plan in case we have to dip back into free agency later. But the players that we are going to sign are backup goalkeeper Arda Akbalut. The go backup goalkeeper we have out of the Youth Academy, Lopez. He's just not very good, and he doesn't have very good potential. We could use an upgrade there in case anything happens to Michael Cooper. We talked about needing a backup right back, so we're going to go with Diogo Kalila in that position. Another center back I felt like we needed as well, outside of the two starters and then Namdi Collins on the bench. We don't have anyone in that position that can play at this level, so just a little bit more depth there was certainly needed. And then we're going to go with Air Anthony Gordon, a winger slash center attacking mid. Nice little versatility there and gives us more depth in a couple of positions. And then we're also going to sign Charlie Kelman, a backup striker. Every time we're missing Luke Jeffcott, no one I've put in that striker position has impressed me. Not Joshua Bell, not Reese or Glenn. Reese Glenn, is that his name? I can't remember the other guy out of the Youth Academy. Just no one has filled in there. Not sufficiently. So we're going to take another striker and we're going to take Charlie Kelman. So up first for us today, we're going to be at home against Leicester City. And that's a different looking Leicester City. Awar up top, Richarlison on the left. This should be interesting. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, Richards, big tackle there. Manning had a nice tackle as well, but couldn't keep control of it. That's going to run out of... How did Awar keep that in? I thought for sure that was running out. Oh, Awar is terrifying. Oh, there's, uh, there's nobody... There's nobody in the middle. We got all out of sorts there. That, that ball that went to Richarlison down the line, I thought was going to go out, and that just screwed us. And we're down one nothing early against Leicester. There you go. Douglas turning that inside. Gets away from a man. Shoots swide of the post. Not bad from Spider. He'll get the creative juices flowing. Oh, my goodness. Who in the world? I do this so fast. Who is Justin. He just blew by Nuhu like he was standing still. And again, we're just leaving that dude in there unmarked. That's the second time. Can we please wake up a little bit? I just... He, that dude. Number 10. And Guri? Is that his name? He just keeps getting open. Guri. 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 I don't even know how to say his name. I, I don't know how to say his name, and I don't know how to stop him. Oh, no. Oh, Richarlison is just giving us nightmares. Otomeo very nearly brought him down. Cooper with a huge sliding block. I'm not sure what just happened. Someone was offside. Michael Cooper just ran into the pole as well. Holy nightmare. That was crazy. Lester have numbers forward here. We might have a counterattack. Is Conrad onside? He was onside. Come on, Conrad. Conrad in the middle. Beautiful. Weston McKenney. Oh, big save from Schmeichel. That was a really good look. Cooper. What in the... Well, that's just tragic, isn't it? Oh, that's gonna do it. Oh, that was that was the 90th minute anyway. I guess it really didn't matter. It was 92nd minute, I think. 2-0 loss to Leicester. That is a good team. Uh, we really did not get any clean looks. Nothing going forward for us in that one. Well, at least we were able to bounce back in the Carabao Cup and get the win with our reserve team. Postma, Madeira, and Danny Leva scoring the goals for us. And we backed that up with a nice little 2-0 victory in our first away fixture in the Prem against Aston Villa. And I know Aston Villa isn't the greatest of teams, but any of points that we get on the road this season are going to be massive for us. And we follow that up with another win, this one at home against Bournemouth. Kind of a dominant win as well. Jeff Cott McKinney getting the goals for us. I mean, we are like... <laughs> we're, we're simulation warriors, man. We win all of the Sims. And up next for us, we are away to London Stadium to take on West Ham United. Oh, Otomeo, get back. No. Oh, good save, Cooper. Otomeo, I think, did just enough to put him off. 
burst of speed from Isaacson. And Isaacson is just going to take this all the way up himself because he does have the speed to do that. Isaacson, hold it up. Very nice. Another one in there. Didn't mean to go to Jeff Cott. But McKinney's there to tap in the loose ball. Okay. It was scrappy. It was sloppy. But it's in the back of the net. There's Kamara. Straight through. Force. Biter. And again, it's right at the keeper. That was really well worked again. We're just not putting the finishes where they need to be. Corner here for West Ham. Can we get that away? We do. Conrad. Hey, we're defending corners all of a sudden. I love to see that. Oop, that's another ball in. We did not defend that one, though. I spoke too soon. Should have, I should not have opened my mouth. Holy smokes. I didn't even see White. Where did he come from? He shaked the shot horribly. Again, Odomeo did enough to put him off. I didn't even know he was up there. I never even saw him. Kamara, Spider. Oh, that's McKenny. I, I don't know why. I thought that was going to be Spider Douglas. McKenny spins. McKenny finds a hole. Weston McKenny by himself weaving through the box. Finds the space and puts it in the back of the net for his second. 2 nothing to Plymouth. Oh, my goodness. Dan James. Oh, Cooper. What a save. From Michael Cooper has been immense today. Kamara tripped up a little bit, but we're okay. Spider through. Weston for his hat trick. Weston McKinney with a hat trick away at West Ham. Welcome to the Premier League, Weston McKinney. I see a future captain in our midst. I'm loving it. Boy, if you have the option... To lay it across for Luke Jeffcott and you don't do it, you better put that in the back of the net. But McKenney, on a hat trick, was never going to pass that up. Away is Conrad. He's got so many options. He's going to go for Luke Jeffcott. Finishes beautifully. 4 nothing to play with. I thought for a second Conrad might have been offside, but he wasn't. We're good. And Jeffcott does get his goal. I'm 90% sure that guy just swatted that out of the air with his hand. Oh, look at us blocking everything. Love it. We didn't block that. Okay. <laughs> There's a consolation goal at the end of this one for West Ham. I, I was, we were just putting our bodies on the line in there. I was loving it, but we gave him one too many opportunities. And there is the final whistle. 4-1 away at West Ham. I really didn't expect that one. That was just a dominant performance from Plymouth Argyle. Another sim in the Carabao Cup. Another win for the boys in green. Ditka, Kelman, and well, Ditka got two. Now, Ricky Ditka. Maybe, maybe I, I just keep overlooking him for some reason. He just, he's not growing as fast as I need him to, to grow. He is actually good when he plays. His rating is just so low, I, I don't think about it. Up next for us is our biggest test of the season so far. We're at home to take on Tottenham. Tottenham spent the second most money in the league in the summer over 200 million pounds liverpool spent the most in case you're wondering but they're they spent more than our entire team is worth it's just absolutely insane but i think they're underestimating us a little bit because that that doesn't look like a 200 million pound squad i mean other than harry kane up top who's probably worth more than our entire team on his own but the rest of the team i don't think that they've put their best team out there so we, we, we might have a shot in this one all right tottenham Let's see what you have got. That that midfield. Oh, they have Brozovic. See, that wasn't on the predicted starting lineup, was it? Brozovic? No, he definitely was not. Oh, that's a good tackle, though. And, oh, Spider almost got... That one does get away with it. Let's go. Luke Jeffcott coming inside. Can we find Spider? We do. Spider Douglas holds it up. Ball across. Come on up. We caught him early. We caught Tottenham sleeping. Just sloppy at the back. And we hit him quick. Kamara gets the goal and Plymouth takes the early lead. Look at the passing. Look at the passing. McKenney across. What is that? What is that pass from Weston McKenney? That's got to be better. He had Jeffcott and Spider and missed them both and they were both wide open. Oh, Jeffcott just takes that away and he's up the wing. Go on, Luke. I know you don't have a lot of speed, but go, Luke. Go, Luke. Big touch for Luke. There's players in there. It's going to be Isaacson. What the hell is going on with Tottenham? They just did not come to play. Weston McKenney. Weston McKenney now. Oh, my. It's three. 31 minutes in. McKenney off the post and in. Tottenham. What in the world? 
No! Bad pass. McKinney, not, not what we needed. Not what we needed. Not what we needed. Please, Kamara. Oh, Carney. He's going to get beat by Barnes. Oh, no. Barnes! Okay. Okay. We didn't want to give up an early goal in the second half and give them a way back in, but we did. RV Barnes gets them back on the board. All right, game on. Oh, we got, we got so lucky there. The Kamara, Isaacson. Oh, Tottenham might get hit going the other way. There's Spider Douglas on the back stick. Ooh, that was a nice little Deli Alley esque run right there from Spider going back post, and he gets it right back for us. Four one to Plymouth. You know what's funny? I, I thought that they might have underestimated us a little bit. I gotta show you who's on the bench, cause it's actually outrageous the team that they've that they have on the bench. Down here they've got Son, Musiala, Musiala who's 84 rated, Wendell. I'm not even sure how to say his name. He's 84 rated. Moise Keane, 86 rated. Pedri's 86 rated. Furlan Mendy's 86 rated, and then Radu who's 78. Their entire bench is higher rated than my entire team, but that's on them. They didn't put out their best squad. We did, and we are whooping their ass. It's straight up the middle for Jeffcott. He's going to wait. Beautifully done to Gordon. Could he get his first for Plymouth? He does. As a substitute. 5-1 over Tottenham. Wow. Oh, Pedri's in now too. A little panic. A little trying to save face from Tottenham. Oh, no. Woo. Alfonso Davies came out of nowhere and almost got one back for him. Not that it would have mattered because that's the final whistle. A 5-1 slapping of Tottenham at home park. That was impressive. So after six games in the Premier League, we find ourselves in second place. A bit unexpected, I would say. We're one point behind Leicester City, who admittedly clapped our cheeks a little bit today, but that's okay. They're a very good team. But what I think is actually going on here is the bigger teams that we've played in Manchester United and Tottenham, they're both in European play as well. And I'm pretty sure they're rotating their team in anticipation of those fixtures. And we've just been able to take advantage. So their loss, we'll take the points where we can get them and we'll just keep on rolling. We start off next episode against Chelsea and we'll see if we can continue that success. So that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back with some more Plymouth Argyle career. See ya. That's the one. Short and sweet and to the